r slash ask reddit what was the most obviously fake lie you've been told she's just a friend you're acting crazy comma they were engaged a month after we broke up i believe the late great biz Marky had some thoughts on that matter that song has helped me dodge so many bullets 9 out of 10 things my dad drank or snacked on were spicy, admittedly, I use this one now. OMG I'm not alone, I do this to my kids. My 5 year old has already worked it out and has started saying he likes spicy, he commits to. When it is actually spicy his eyes turn to horror and he will scrunch his face up, but power through it then politely say he's had enough after one mouthful lol. I usually tell my kids something is really spicy when it's not spicy, and if it's a little spicy I'll let them try one and they don't like it, keeps it real for them and they definitely don't want to deal with really spicy stuff. I was the shift manager at this shitty barbecue restaurant and got called up front because this lady wouldn't pay for her to go order. He said, excuse me, I don't have to pay for anything at this place because I'm married to the owner, the smooth, and she pointed to a taxidermied animal head on the wall. I knew she was lying because it was an elk head. I would have took her word for it, if you weren't the shift manager. Honestly I think she's a comedy genius. The photo of condoms my husband sent to a contact on their phone labeled business was an accident. The reply text back saying can't wait was probably also a noobs. I didn't know she was attracted to me. Well that certainly explains the 6 month long cringe sexting chat history in your Facebook. If someone I knew texted me that by mistake, I would probably respond like that as a joke. I met the baby on an airplane and I'm best friends with Millie Bobby Brown. She also claimed to own 12 houses. Pathological liar by chance? Actually yes. She was also schizophrenic and really creepy. We became besties after a while though and we remain friends to this day. She's worked on her honesty and social skills and is overall a lot more pleasant to be around. My cousin tells me about his fight stories from school. They all sound like something out of Grand Theft Auto. He grew up playing those games too lol. He told me about his fight in elementary school way him and his buddy supposedly got ambushed on top of the gym bleachers that were folded in where no one could sit there except if they climbed to the top of them. He sit him and his buddy threw the gang of bullies off the top of the bleachers and onto the gym floor. He also said he got tortured in the bathroom in elementary school when a gang of bullies tried to shove his head into a sharp piece of metal hanging from a stall door. His over the top stories still happen now. He even said during his senior year of high school that he took a wretch to someone's face in automotive class during an angry outburst that he claimed scared everybody in the room. He also tries to throw in cheesy one liners from himself into the stories. He is so full of shit lol. What's it like having a cousin who's a main character? Main character in Napoleon Dynamite? I'm a dragon and also your mother I was like 8 at the time my ex friend said that he believed it for some reason. So you're secretly a dragon? Perhaps you have secret dragon powers. Half dragon. They only get the weaknesses. Like dying if they're shot in the chest. My regular job is as a club promoter. I just work here. Shitty retail franchise. For fun money. He then showed me a generic picture of a Ferrari and said that was his car. Bonus lie. He told everyone he was 28 when he was clearly in his mid to late 40s. Even better is when they show you a picture of a crappy car. I had a sub show me a pic of him wearing a suit leaning against his early 80s Honda. The picture was well done at least, but that was bad because it made the rust more noticeable. Guy was chatting me up in a club and said he had a Ferrari. Show me a photo of him standing by a Toyota Supra. When I went snowboarding at Big Bear me and this dude would always wind up taking the lift together and our second lift together I asked him what he does for a living and he said I'm an accountant but later started talking about his job at a grocery store. I worked a minimum wage job in a grocery store a while back. One of the newer guys used to be a personal finance advisor. One day I was discussing how house prices were so unattainable in the city. His advice was to use 8 or 9 credit cards to pay for the 20% deposit. No idea why he was working a minimum wage job with great wisdom like that. He could have just used a credit card to pay for things without bothering to work. He said he was a financial advisor. Not a good financial advisor. 
kid in my neighborhood said his dad made the world's biggest cookie. No way to fact check it but even so it just didn't sound legit. Time to do some research. I'll be back with some facts edit. Okay. Turns out in 2003, the world's largest cookie was baked by the Immaculate Baking Company. It was 102 feet wide. 31. 09 meters and weighed over 40 000 pounds 18 140 kg link oh see this was in 2002 no wonder you couldn't find it i'm not smoking as if i can't duck i'm smell man face palming you can they can't yup if i can't smell it they can't either a woman at least in her mid to late 50s always told everyone for years that she was nervous about turning 40. She had a son in his late 20s and still tried to tell everyone she was only late 30s. She got arrested a few years ago for voter fraud in the paper put her real age. 57. In the paper and that's what she kept trying to contest. Not the voter fraud but her age in the paper. Up until the voter fraud I swore you were talking about Blanche Devereaux. Thank you for being a friend. Our big, beautiful healthcare plan is coming in two weeks. There's a lot more where that came from. Nothing bad happened in Tiananmen Square on the 4th of June, 1989. There is no war in Barsing set. Gunshot sounds. We report only the facts. We report only the facts we agree with is what they mean. They being pretty much everyone. A friend of mine in high school told me out of the blue one day that the parents of some girl he was dating were literally paying him to marry his daughter. Cash. Jewelry. Atlanta Braves jerseys. Of course. I called bullshit as not only had I never met her before, but he had never mentioned her until this day. A week later. The wedding was off because he supposedly found some dude shirtless talking to her on the couch at her place. You'd think he wouldn't be shirtless. If the parents are handing out jerseys to anyone who take her off their hands. Not only had I never met her before you wouldn't know her. She lives in Canada. Was talking about a movie with my friends in high school when one of them said that he had seen it too. He was a compulsive liar. So I started just making shit up that never happened in the film while asking if he remembered those scenes. He kept saying yes and finally I just said that none of that ever happened and fail. Our other friends just busted out laughing and ripping on him. Then at the end he asks, wait, is that the movie with Bruce Lee? I lost it at that point lol. This reminds me of a good friend from high school. We were having lunch with some other friends off campus at a Taco Bell type place talking about our weekends. He brought up how he went to see a movie that had just come out and how it was rated R and he had to buy the tickets and that they didn't hit him because he looked so much older and how he never gets carded because of it. Except he somehow ducking forgot that I was the friend he went with. 1. His ass was broke AF and I almost always paid for everything. 2. I bought the tickets and wasn't carded because movie theater attendants don't give a duck not because I looked older. I grabbed one of the other girls and as we refilled our drinks I told her about how ducking weird he was lying about the whole thing when I was right there. She said to just let it go because he obviously needed the win for some reason so I shrugged it off at the time. Dylan. You lying shit. If you're out there that was ducking weird and I never trusted another goddamn word out of your mouth after that. But you were an awesome friend and good dude and I am sorry if you were in a place where you felt like you needed to lie to be cool. You were already cool. Lmao that's just one of those moments that you wish didn't happen. But you're glad at it. Things like that are just pure entertainment for me because there is just no logical explanation of why it happened. A guy in 7th grade tried to convince me that he was better at piano than me because he had been taught to play with his hands upside down. And that everyone learns that so I must not be a good player. We didn't actually have a keyboard so he was sort of able to get away with it even though I knew he was lying. Three weeks later I was playing piano in the band room so one of the alto sax players could practice their part. I wasn't in the band but I could sight read the piano part. And he walked in. I said that since he was such a good musician. He should play instead of me. He slowly played the opening notes of Fur Elise and then gave up. Capital L. For some reason. People think lying makes them seem cooler. I don't get it. It's disappointing to everyone involved. Same. I know someone who does this habitually for a lot of things. 
It's quite hard to grasp the thought process. This guy once insisted he knew how to drive manual, but simply forgot. He was still learning how to drive the car his rich dad bought him. And a mutual friend was teaching him. It was obvious he was bluffing to begin with. But hearing his driving teacher's report on how poorly he drives an automatic just added more proof that he was just full of it. Mind you. He was fibbing in front of a group of manual drivers so I wasn't quite sure how he planned on getting away with it. My grandma got me to eat bread crusts when I was a toddler by telling me it's made of broccoli and cauliflower. I stopped believing it in a few months but it worked. You got convinced to eat something because something tasted like broccoli and cauliflower? Are you some sort of anti-child? Yes I enjoy fruits and vegetables sue me. Girl I worked with knew I played this sport. It's not a massive sport in my country. Told me that she almost made the Olympic team at 16. They begged her to play but she decided not to do it and focus on her studies. Besides the obviously blatant lie, she does what all liars do and keeps going. She claimed she was the best rep player at the local association. Told me she was best friends with the president's granddaughter who was a top state player and this GD taught her everything she knew. And that she loved her like a sister. Myself and the woman were working with. Whose sons were in the state program. Are at this point looking at her in total shock almost slack jawed. The president's granddaughter who she's like a sister to is me. And can only be me. She couldn't even lie and she used his first name. My co-worker very gentle responded with a hey we're all going to walk away when I finish speaking and pretend this never happened. But just so you know president's granddaughter is Lozif who is standing with us right now. Everything you've just told us is a lie. But you're clearly nervous so we'll be kind and never talk of it again. No I'm not kind. I've lived off this story for years. But outside of work. To top it all off I wasn't even a top state player so it was even more insane. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.